Alright guys, Clay and Connor is here for a new video, and today's video is a VHS and DVD update for November 9th, 2020, and which on Saturday, um, on Saturday, November 6th, which was, which is a Saturday, or, I, I meant on, on, on Saturdays, November 7th, I went to Goodwill and I got Seventeen VHS tapes and seven DVDs, in which I got one clamshell and sixteen slip covers. So yep. So anyways, let's start the up. Let's start this update. First tape, his first VHS is the one clamshell I got. This is all. This was the final VHS tape to be released under the. This is actually the very last Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection video ever released. April 12th, 1999. It has some ads in here. Now let's get on to the 16 slipcover cases, and by the way, I got these movies from my local Goodwill store on sa on Saturday, November 7th, 7th s s if I went a little too fast, so yep. This one's an MGM, MGM and Glorious Black and White VHS. This is a Warner Brothers movie from 1946. It has that sticker for a dollar, but I got this for 50 cents. Originally says 1992. The label is a reprint because that's the MGM Home Entertainment logo on it. And per and the print date is November 9th, 1998. And this tape has the 1993 MGM UA Home Video logo at the beginning. Columbia Classics VHS, part of the Studio Heritage Collection. Now, I did have this movie on VHS, which is the 1985 RCA Clean Pictures Home Video VHS release, but the reason why I decided to get this one is because this is the 1988 restored version, so thought it might be better to own. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. Third seventh week of 1994. This is a remake of a 1950s movie. Has that same sticker. This is the 1988 remake of DOA. I do know there's an original one from the 1950s. Originally purchased from a thrift store. This one's the 1954, um, I believe, film of Dragnet. I do have the 1987 one with Tom Hanks on VHS as well. And even though this VHS is from Universal, this movie was actually released by Warner Brothers. In fact, this movie has the film's Warner Brothers logo in a few minutes into the film. At the beginning. Originally a nighttime one VHS from MC Universal Home Video. 
but the tape itself has the MC Home Video labels from 1988. The 17th week of Nighttime 1, and this speech just has the MC, your, the MC Home Video logo at the beginning instead of the MC, Home, MC Universal Home Video logo. So this is an 80s tape master. This one's a former off some unknown video store. And this one's the blue tape version, which is really cool. The 48th week of Nighttime 3. This is a VHS I used to have back in the day, but got rid of it. Now I got it back in the collection. This is another, and this is the same MGM Family Treasures VHS copy. Although this one's in pretty bare condition. The other one, this side was creased, but this one's in really good shape. And this is an MGM film. February, oh, June 10th, 1996. Part of the adult action genre. This movie's from 1988, and this VHS, I think this tape was first released in 1989, but this is a Nighttime 1 re-release. And the label itself has, is a reprint because it's got the Nighttime 6 Warner Home Video logo, aka the Boring Shield logo. May 14th, Nighttime 7, but this tape, but I did check this tape, and this tape still has the the Warner Brothers, the Warner Home Video Chigi Shield logo at the beginning, instead of the Born Shield logo. Because this is a Nighttime 7 print date. So I guess that could get a hint that I might still have the Chigi Shield logo at the beginning. This is a Columbia Pictures movie, and this and yes, this movie does have the film's Columbia logo in a higher pitch tone for some odd reason. It's a reaper from Columbia Tresor Home Entertainment. The twelfth week of two thousand one, and this VHS actually has the Columbia Tresor Home Entertainment logo at the beginning. Instead of the Columbia Tricer Home Video logo. So that's kind of interesting. This is another movie I had on VHS. But my copy was not in the greatest condition. So I decided to get a barricade. So, I, so when I saw this copy at Goodwill. I decided to go ahead and replace that copy with this copy. Because it's in much better condition. And this is another Columbia Pictures movie. Even though the label says 1985, this is per, it's printed off the 19th week of 1997, but this tape, um, 
but this tape at the beginning still has the the stay tuned for some pre-use of RSA claim pictures from videotapes at bumper at the beginning so I so this tape actually still has the same master as the original 19 1986 VHS so it actually says 1985 on the labels for some odd reason This is a movie I've been wanting to get for a while. Now I finally have it. Now I've, I'm at, I now I finally have a copy in my possession. The fifth week of 1989. It's a former of some unknown video store. This next one's a former of from Hollywood Video. Amherst has that dollar sticker on there. This is a Carco home video VHS. Distributed by IVE. And this movie was, was originally released by TriStar Pictures. But the TriStar logo does not appear on this VHS. Twenty first week of nineteen ninety. This next one's a Fox Selections VHS. This and this is another movie I've been wanting to get for a while now. I finally have it. I think I might have might, might have had this tape at one point, but I don't quite remember. So let me know in the comments that if I had this tape or not, or I must have gotten rid of it. The sixth week of night eight. This is a Cary Grant collection VHS. It's a Republic Pictures VHS distributed by Orison Home Entertainment. And this movie was originally released by Universal back in 1962. And this VHS still has the, the film's Universal International logo at the beginning. October 20, 2002, even though this is originally a 19... 1997 VHS and some widescreen. This is the Nighttime 8 version of Twilight, not the not the stupid 2008 version about vampires. This one's a thriller and this and this one I'm definitely prefer I'm definitely going to stick with besides the 2008 version which which I heard is very overrated you get you get the deal the 35th week of 1998 This next one's an MGM UA Vintage Classics v Vintage Classics VHS. And this is a and this is a and this is a Warner Brothers movie from 1949.
originally from 1996, but has the same, but has the MGM Home Entertainment label on it. Print off the, the print date is May 10th, 1999. And here's the last VHS for this update. The 34th week of Nighttime 1. Now let's go on to the 7 DVDs that I got from Goodwill. This first DVD is an out of print title that was lucky to find. For, that was lucky to find at Goodwill on Saturday. And it was only $2 so I couldn't pass this up. And this DVD has been re-released by the Warner Archive Collection in 2013, but that's probably out of print now. But this is the original 2004 DVD released by Paramount. Had this on VHS as well, but decided to get it on DVD. Rest in peace, Joel Schumacher. on the widescreen side former from blockbuster the blockbuster date is may 6 2010 And it's also got, it also co-stars the late Wilm for Brimley, Brimley, who passed away this year. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. It was also made by Castle Rock Entertainment. This is another movie I decided to get on DVD to replace my VHS. I also have the original Italian job from 1969 on DVD. And this next DVD was brand new sealed when I bought, but I already opened it up. And this one's an Olive Films DVD that I was surprised to find at Goodwill. This is a 1948 movie. And this movie was originally released by Universal, and this DVD has the film's Universal logo at the beginning. But the film, but this is owned by Olive Films and Paramount now. I have this on, I have, I have, um, I have, oh, sorry, I have these four on VHS.
and the case is a bit cracked right there, but that's okay. This is a Fox Searchlight Pictures movie, and this is a 2009, this is, comes in 2009 re-release re case. But the disc itself is still the original 2060, and it's on the widescreen side. And finally, here's the last DB for this update. I have the 2000 version of Shaft on VHS, which is by Paramount, while well, this one is from MGM, but the DVD is from Warner Brothers. And that's it for my VHS and DVD update for November 9th, 2020. Hope you like this vid hope you like this movie update and see you later.